Hello, this is Ekolka. Today, under the Quality Patrol series, we will analyze the Kingsong S20 EUC in detail and look at all its pros and cons. We also advise you to watch our previous video about the S20 competitor, the Goad Hero, in order to understand the difference in the assembly approach of these brands. Kingsong S20 is the older brother of the S18. The electric unicycle has become more massive due to the wider wheel rim and aggressive tire. The suspension travel has also increased and the company has doubled the battery capacity from 1,110 watt-hours in the S18 to 2,220 watt-hours in the S20. The standard delivery set of Kingsong S20 is probably the richest among other brands. The price of the wheel includes honeycomb pedals and built-in spikes. This is already beginning to be a quality standard and all top wheels are gradually being equipped with these pedals. Built-in bumper stand, which is very comfortable to use, and this is the first wheel in which it actually works as it should. You just put the wheel where you want and you're not afraid that it will fall on its side with the slightest breeze, as it was with the V11. You will also receive a seat that is attached to the top of the wheel with a Velcro. Even if you don't ride seated, it can work great as a protective bumper for your display and motherboard. Next, you get two power pads and two jump pads, which not only give the wheel a unique look, but also help you place your feet in the most ergonomic way. But there are a few problems here. Power pads are attached with 3M adhesive tape. In every video, we say that this is absolutely not a working solution, since even a simple change of riding shoes leads to the fact that you need to change the position of the pads. Therefore, we immediately change it to Velcro. During the test, we have already unfastened power pads 100 times for various needs, and I can't imagine how you can place them once and never change the position again in the future. The plastic red plate gives additional thickness, which leads to a decrease in handling, and in some cases, for people with short stature or a narrow stance, causes discomfort when riding. This is a rather subjective factor. For someone, these power pads do not cause any problems. Others want to take them off right away. But what can I say for sure? If you want to ride aggressively and have maximum control, you will have to replace them with alternative ones. I was faced with the fact that I could not adjust the original power pads for my riding style, as I ran into a plastic separator that prevented me from moving them to the distance I needed. As a result, I had to completely unscrew it. To replace a tire, you do not need to disassemble the wheel completely. But this process cannot be called simple. It is necessary to unscrew and remove the upper part with the motherboard, disconnect the motor and batteries, unscrew the suspension elements and mudguard from the motor itself, and pull the motor down through the sliders. Having a rather unfortunate experience with self-loosening bolts on earlier models, the company's engineers decided to fix all critical bolts with special glue which caused us huge problems as it was simply impossible to unscrew them. The bolt had simply twisted. We addressed the manufacturer with this problem and we were assured that the production version will have reinforced bolts that will be unscrewed without problems. I remind you that we have a pre-production sample in our hands, and a lot can change during mass production. In terms of cable management, Kingsong has taken over the layout of the elements from the S18 model, but additional improvements have been made. The system is very simple and incredibly reliable. The top board is located in a sealed metal box that dissipates heat well. There is a rubber seal under the cover. You don't see any extra cables or connectors here. This is a real piece of art. On the sides of the cover, there are special channels into which the battery connectors go. The connections of these channels also have rubber seals. Then there are aluminum cases in which the batteries are located, and again, both from the top and from the bottom, these cases are tightly sealed with rubber gaskets. As a result, we get a system completely insulated from moisture and dust, and from which only one motor cable comes out from the bottom side of the cover. Suspension is one of the most interesting part for us. Our subscribers have probably already realized how much we like to tweak the suspension of unicycles and test different setups. The S20 model uses 240 by 75 suspension. The younger brother, S18, has 200 by 51. The first number shows the length, the second, shock stroke. And as you guess, they are not interchangeable. Also, they have different working principles. In S18, the pressure is built up by a pump, and in fact, you can adjust the suspension for almost any weight of the rider. See the S18 review on the channel. 
The S20 has the spring type suspension. This means that the stiffness is already set, but the spring tightness, turning the adjustment knob, will have no effect for basic parameters of shock absorption. It will make only slight tweaks. In our example, we got a 750 pound spring. After the first tests, we came to the conclusion that it is suitable for regular riders weighing around 100 to 110 kilograms, and aggressive riders that are using electric unicycles for big air jumps and huge drops, weighing 80 to 90 kilograms. If you do not meet these parameters, then the easiest and cheapest way is to buy a softer or harder spring. The range of possibilities varies from 300 to 1,000 pounds, so everyone can find a spring to suit their weight. If your budget is unlimited, then you can buy an air shock and play with the settings in a very wide range. In the S20 model, the company abandoned steel pipes, replacing them with plastic sliders. This element caused the most questions and fears, but only time will tell how it will prove itself. At the same time, plastic sliders have obtained very high quality, and the material is dense and reliable. You can always unscrew and replace them with new ones or with sliders made of more slippery or hard material. The sliders are moving inside the aluminum rail, so no metal parts are touching each other. Another important nuance is the ability to adjust the clearance. On the back of the mount, you will find three bolts on each side. By unscrewing them, you can both raise the body above the ground, presenting a more off-road version, or release to the very bottom, getting more stability for urban use. Essentially, S20 is a versatile wheel that can be turned to suit any needs. From calm and soft city driving, where the suspension will take care of all the small bumps, to high, aggressive park riding with large drops. The Kingsong S20 has two large 126-volt batteries. They are placed in aluminum boxes with rubber seals on the lids. Also, an interesting sticker appeared on the battery itself. It changes color after moisture gets on it. We consider this the right step since the batteries are protected as much as possible from moisture getting inside, and it is possible to imagine that this could happen only if the wheel falls into water or liquid is spilled on the batteries during disassembling, which naturally is not a warranty case. The manufacturer claims an IP54 rating, which means that dust ingress can get inside but does not affect the operation of the device, and there is also water splash protection. In fact, Kingsong engineers took this issue very seriously and we managed to find only one weak spot just under the cover where the motor cable comes out. For some reason, there was no sealing gum and theoretically, water can get through this hole if, for example, after rain, you put the wheel on its side. We have reported this issue and Kingsong has assured us that additional protection will be installed in this part. If this does not happen, then for maximum safety we would still advise trying to isolate this hole. The motor in the S20 is a hollow type, which means that it does not have a central shaft. These motors first appeared on the V11 model at InMotion. Then Bigode followed the same path with the release of the RS model. This type of motor has both advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is that not having a shaft to carry the entire weight of the rider reduces the chance of breakage as the weight is distributed over a larger area. Since the S20 is positioned as a hardcore off-road wheel, this is certainly a positive thing, which, again, is already becoming the gold standard for wheels in this class. The disadvantages include large and expensive bearings. Chinese manufacturers are always trying to save some money on them and use low-quality ones. As the result, they fail very quickly due to dust and moisture getting inside. But even here, King Song surprised us. If you look at the design of motors from InMotion and Bagode and compare it with a King Song motor, you can immediately notice one small but incredibly important detail a rubber seal. It would seem such a simple and obvious solution, which fans of unicycles already use for a long time printing various plugs on 3D printers. But directly from factory, only Kingsong has made so far. We cannot say anything about the quality of the bearings, but even the fact that they close them from direct water ingress will definitely give a huge advantage over competitors, and they should last many times longer. The motor has a new reinforced spoke and cap design. Definitely a step up. There was also a rumor that this motor would be without hull sensors, but after inspection, we found the sensors were still there. As for the overall assembly, we had no particular complaints, despite the fact that this is a pre-production sample. Many problems at the time of the release of this video have already been fixed, such as a weak front bumper that fell apart at the first slight impact, glue on the bolts, which we have already talked about. Also, weak points are the front lights and the rear plastic stand. 
Perhaps King Song will start making them from a more impact resistant material, or let dealers offer these parts at reasonable prices so that the replacement does not raise questions from customers. It may seem that this review came out too positive, but I want to make a reservation right away that the policy of our company is to offer customers only the best products. We have no interest in promoting any specific brand. We choose the best for you and try to tell you about it as objectively as possible. Share this video with your friends and local communities and subscribe so that you don't miss the next videos. We only make high quality content.